Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today's video, it's about this detachable tool skirt, the second part. Check the first part of this video if you want to learn how to do the pattern. So let's get started. These are the list of fabrics that I've used for this tutorial. For the lining, you can use a pongee or a lightweight type of silk. And then I used five layers of tulle, soft tulle. After cutting all the fabrics, we can now piece together by just using a regular stitch. I prefer to overlock the side seams and center back seams of the lining after sewing. I prefer using a regular straight stitch instead of French seam for the tool part of the skirt. The next thing I do is to baste all the five layers together, pin it first and then sew it down by basting. For the waistband, all you need is the measurement of the waist based from the pattern and then put all the necessary sewing allowances. I'm using Dutch setting for the waistband and also you will need a fusible for this. Fold it in half and then press. Pin the lining and the tool and sew it down together. Or you can do hand basting. After sewing, mark the 1.5 or 1 inch CB seam allowance, then fold it in to the wrong side. Pin in place and do a few back stitches to secure it. We can now attach the waistband. It's up to you if you want to follow my procedure or my way of attaching the waistband. It's all up to you if you want to do the other way around. And then I flip the waistband to the right side of skirt with the waist seam allowance folded in and then I top stitch it down. And this is how it looks like on the right side. To fasten the center back, I used a covered button and chain tuck loop. Or you can also use a hook and eye. And this is the final look of our detachable or removable tool skirt. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Please like, subscribe and share this video with all of your friends and I'll see you next time.